Hey guys, I'm John from PLB and today we are smack in the heart of Toa Payoh as well as Novena. We are heading up to this 3 bedder size at 1173 square feet with over $60,000 worth of renovations pumped in. This is freehold in nature and we are located within walking distance to Toa Payoh Central, Zhongshan Mall and to a whole range of F&B options. So if you're in the market looking for freehold 3 bedder that's located centrally in Singapore, I think you'll like this one. Let's go. Life like Okay, so welcome into this beautiful 3 beta unit at Vista Residences. Before I show you the rest of the home, let's look at the project facts. Vista Residences TOP in 2013 and it's a freehold project. There are a total of 282 units comprising of 1 bedroom to 4 bedroom units and also the penthouses. Developed by Far East Organisation, truly a household name for many of us as many of its past and current projects include Watertown, Hillview Regency, Cashew Green, the Shore Residences, Cyan and the Reserve Residences and many more. And with so many projects within this area, stay with me because I'll be sharing with you why it is such a gem find in today's market. So the owners, as mentioned, have pumped in $60,000 worth of renovations into this home. Coming in, this is the entrance foyer and we have got these beautifully storage cabinets or shoe racks that have been done across this wall over here. Floating shelf has also been done, so this is very efficient for your cleaning of the floor as well. Moving across to the living area, you notice these wooden overtones, very nicely done, very lovely TV feature wall that has been extended all the way across to the ceiling, creating this extremely cozy look and giving a lot of character to this entire home itself. So what we have over here is this three-seater couch that is off a very comfortable distance to the TV. Marble flooring has been laid across the entire house from the living area all the way to the dining area. So what I really love about this layout is that we've got this wide span kind of layout where the dining and the living fronts towards the balcony. And as we move across the home subsequently you will notice that a lot of shelves a lot of cabinets have been built in by the owners so this is great storage for you for your family to enjoy when you move in Come with me as we come to the dining area. So we've got this six-seater round table that has been placed over here. So you can see that this is actually very spacious. What you can also do if you prefer a rectangular kind of dining table setup, that can also be done. A hanging panel light over here once again adds a lot of charm to this area right here. Speaking about floor plans, let's bring out the different floor plans for Vista Residences as we deep dive and look at the differences between the three bedders over here. The general differences for these layouts is the location of the third bedroom either being on the opposite side or side by side with bedroom 2. The rest of the size differences are rather minimal with the longish shape prominent across the layout configurations. For our unit here, this is the type C5 layout size at 1173 square feet. Coming in, you'll be greeted with the enclosed kitchen. There is a yard, WC and home shelter behind. Moving further in, you have the long span living and dining, a good sized balcony extends beyond the living room. And moving into the resting area, you have the common bath, two equal sized common bedrooms, master bedroom and the master bathroom. Before we head out to the balcony, let's bring up the location map because I want to point out how centrally located and how convenient this entire location is. So if you put a pin at where Vista Residences is at, you'll notice how centralised this location is. What this means for you is convenience for you and your family and accessibility to your work or places you frequently visit. A short 5 minutes walk will get you to Tongshan Mall where you will get plenty of F&B options and services for your day-to-day -day need. There is also a fair price finest for your groceries. And for the uninitiated, here's a list of Balestier's top foodie places. BKRB for fun, Long Fat Tao Sa Pia, Balestier Hoover Rojak as well as Founders Bakute and many others for your supper needs. If you move along Thompson Road, you can also find Novena Square, Velocity Square 2 in the Novena area. We are 5 minutes drive to PIE and 15 minutes to both Orchard and CBD. For those who like to walk, we are 12 minutes walk across the overhead bridge cutting across HDB Block 159 to Topayo MRT. In terms of primary school, we are within 1km to CHIJ Topayo and for 1 to 2km radius, we are also close to ACS Primary, SGI Junior as well as King Cheng School. For leisure, you can head to Topayo Town Park for your weekly exercises.
Let's head out to the balcony to check out our view right here. So in terms of orientation, this is northwestern orientation. We're located along Jalan Dato, which is next to the PIE. Of course, they'll be bound to have some root noise over here, but I think that there are lots of solutions as well as options that we can implement to help to reduce this root noise. So I think firstly, what has been done is the installation of zip track. This has been done out by the owners just last year itself. We've got this automated zip track that's along this panel as well as this manual panel that is located right behind me. And for the zip track, this is of the official zip track brand from Australia and hence you can be assured that in terms of the quality and the mechanism, it is of a very high standard. And with the zip track, this also means that this entire balcony can be converted into a more indoor area because this will then allow you to pull down the zip track, switch on your aircon and allow you to actually host your friends and family at this area. And because this is a good sized balcony, I believe that you can also put in the alfresco dining over at this area. And next, what's really great are these balcony doors because they are heavy and sturdy and once I close them, have a listen to the noise level reduction itself. And this is actually pretty great. So looking out here, we also notice this unblocked greenery view that spans across the entire Ballastia area and that is where the old police academy is and a lot of future developments are going to take place right there. So over there, the entire plot is going to see massive transformation. We're talking about 33,000 hectares of land that will be transformed into BTO homes, roughly about 5,000 homes in total, which means a lot of new homeowners in this entire area in the next 10 to 15 years. And this will form the pool of future home upgraders who are looking to stay within this familiar area. In addition, Mount Pleasant MRT, which is also located right there, will start functioning once the residents of the new BTOs move in. Furthermore, this is also where your north-south corridor, which is where the massive underground expressway will cut through. Currently, a lot of construction going on on the road not only in this area but all the way from the north of Singapore to the CBD area if you notice from Sembawang, Amokyo, Marymount, Novena all the way down to Rocho and this will help the residents on the whole within this area in terms of easing of the traffic over here because what you can expect are designated bus lanes, more pedestrian walkways as well as cycling pathways. kitchen is segmented into two areas. We've got the dry kitchen which is right outside here. Very nice countertop that has been done up by the owner. Storage underneath as well. Everything comes with the bloom closure system and right on top here, this is where you put your alcohol stash. Very nicely done as well. Right behind me, we've got this fridge space. Lots of storage space that is right behind me as well and we got this designated microwave oven space that is stuck within this corner. Moving further inside, we've got this enclosable kitchen which if you're doing any heavy cooking, you can close this up to prevent the fumes from going out there. So both sides can actually be closed as well where we have got another glass lining door that is leading towards the yard. We've got this whole suite of Teka appliances, the Teka hood as well as a tree burner hob and an oven right below. So once again, this very clean white look across the entire kitchen countertop. And heading further in, come with me because we will be checking out the yard area. I think a very good size yard where you can put your washer dryer at this corner. There's also a sink for you to do your quick washing. This is the WC as well as home shelter which is great for your storage. And before we head into the rooms itself, let's bring up the site plan map for Vista Residences. Vista Residences comprises of two towers, Block 26 and Block 28. Both towers are oriented slightly differently with Block 26 having largely a north or south orientation and Block 28 having a northwestern or southeastern facing. So we are in Block 28 today, step number 9, which has a northwestern orientation. And in terms of facilities, we've got this whole array of facilities features that are tucked within Vista Residences. We've got two large swimming pools, we've got the jacuzzi, sheltered car parks, tennis courts, roof terraces, roof gardens, as well as function room. So over on my left side over here, this is the first common bedroom. Parquet flooring that is laid across this entire bedroom. Pretty good size and we have got a single bed that is tucked within this side and a baby cot that is on the opposite side. We've got this bay window and the owners have very thoughtfully added in this very classy marble that lays on top of this bay window. In terms of facing wise, this is similar to the balcony we are looking at northwest facing. Towards the other end, we've got this two panel sliding door wardrobe that has been done up for you and the aircon unit has also been just changed earlier on this year.
and heading out right across this is the common bathroom very well maintained I love the white palette of color makes it extremely clean and bright looking so we've got this full length mirror that is right across basin as well as the two door storage cabinet right below WC as well as the shower area ventilation window which is great for you to air out the toilet after a warm shower What's my right side over here? The owners have converted this second bedroom into a study. They built in this L-shaped study table over here with this wooden design. Very classy again, this dark color and also overhung cabinet. So for more storage spaces. So this is great for your study or for your work from home arrangement. If you wish to convert this into a bedroom itself, you can simply hack this all away. Enough size for you to fit your queen size bed. And tucked over at this corner itself is also once again the two door sliding panel wardrobe space that's been done up for you. Before we head into the master, we have actually deep dive and look at the numbers for you. So let's bring up the map over here. So if you look up the portals, you will see that there are several similar types of 3 beta units available in the resale market currently. At the art, this is a freehold project which TOP in 2012. The 3 beta size from 1399 square feet to 1625 square feet are priced between 2.68 million to 3.28 million. At Cube 8, a freehold project which TOP in 2014, the 3 beta units are sized from 1335 square feet to 1475 square feet and are priced between 2. 2.8 mil to 3.28 mil. At 8 Raja, the freehold boutique development completed in 2013 has 3 meter size at 1572 square feet and is listed for 2.6 mil. Next to us, at the Citrine, another freehold boutique project which was completed in 2008. The 3 meter available there size at 1141 square feet is priced at 1.8 mil. Next, for projects that are currently being constructed and soon to be completed, there is new at Novena. The freehold 3 meters had largely transacted between 2600 to 2900 PSF, translating to a quantum of 2.37 mil for 818 square feet unit. And of course, due to the project's proximity to Novena Square and Novena MRT, this added convenience will mean paying a premium for it. At peak residences along Thompson Road, a freehold project slated to complete in 2025, 3 beta size at 1066 square feet to 1087 square feet had transacted with the first buyers at 2600 to 2700 PSF, translating to a quantum of about 2.6 plus mil to 2.8 plus mil. Lastly, at Verticus, a freehold condo to complete next year, the 3 beta size between 936 square feet to 1249 square feet. This had largely transacted in the range of 2100 to 2200 PSF, translating to a quantum of around 2.6 mil. Looking at the recent government land sale bid at Lorong 1, Tuapayo, the top bidder CDL Fraser's property and Sakisui House won the bid at $968 million for the 99-year leasehold land, translating to an estimated break-even of 2304 PSF. Hence, based on historical data, the estimated selling price for the units when it launches will be averagely at around 2,535 PSF. Subsequently, when the first-hand owners look to sell and exit perhaps after the 3 years SSD, they will be looking conservatively at around 2,700 PSF onwards. And what this means for you is a good entry price of about 2,000 PSF and this becomes pretty much a good entry PSF because you can take and use this $700 PSF as a cushion subsequently when you're looking to exit this property 8 to 10 years down the road. Moving on to the last part of the house, this is the master bedroom. Very, very good size. We've got this king size bed that is right behind me. Whole suite of wardrobe spaces, floor to ceiling that has been laid out across this entire wall panel over here. Once again, we have got this bay window, which again, we have got this marble top that has been laid across. And the aircon unit has also just been changed out earlier this year, so there is some cost savings for you. Coming to the master bath, this is cladded with this very nice white marble along the entire walls as well as the flooring. What I really love is this huge ventilation for you to dispel the moisture. And we have got this segregated glass to segment the wet and the dry area. We've got this WC basin area as well as a storage cabinet right below.
So we have come to the end of this home tour. Thank you for staying with us. If you are a freehold lover looking for your next new home, probably a three bedder that's located in the central of Singapore, that's within walking distance to Toa Payoh, very near to Novena, as well as this wide array of food that you can find along Balestier. This entire area, Thompson area, that's prime for growth. Very excited. Lots of rejuvenation that's going to be happen within this area itself. This unit size at 1173 square feet is priced at 2.35 million. If you're keen to check out this unit physically with us over here, Felicia and myself, our contact details are right below. We're also on the various social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, as well as TikTok. Do subscribe and keep a lookout for our next home tour content over there. My name is John Lin, Property Lin Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Ugh. And perhaps if you're someone who doesn't want to be staying in a mega development and perhaps Be care beef or fine long fat thousand Hey this is not